for people to come in. Let's go to DoCam and just show um, some bocce strikes. Oh, I'll be showing this later for a teaser. How relaxed this is, and not a not just slamming the thumb down, but an up just a little bit, and then the whipping of this arm. Hey Ben. Ben, you didn't miss anything. I'm just, uh, oh, okay, now five people are here. Let's get started. <clears throat> I was passing the time with some uh, bocce strikes while waiting for people to arrive. But we're all here. Hey, everybody. It's Thursday already. Hope you doing well. Um, let's see. Uh, before we begin, I have a little update, Xiaomi update, <clears throat> Xiaomi building update. Uh, I've been very lax, did I say? I'm not sure if I said. Uh, about ooh, about building the shamisen, it's been just sitting on the the desk there. Thinking I'll get to it eventually. We've got plenty of time because I'm wanting to have it ready by uh, the Japan trip in October. But you know, time flies, and it's already four months until then or so. So kind of busting away at it. Um, here we go. Let's go to DoCam. Literally. Hey, Carl. So, well, firstly, um, this is all polished to 2,000 grit sandpaper. Uh, so it's ready for Udushi now. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll signify the completion of this part. I um, have the Itomaki holes here. Um, the Zagane I'll put in after the Udushi. Um, this part here, you can see I, I had the alignment of the angle wrong, so I had to fill that in with some uh, epoxy, but that worked very well. It's a great epoxy, it's a marine, um, and I like it hard and it's even underwater. Um, can bond metal to metal or plastic and foam even, so good stuff. Um, <clears throat> let's see, Do we know that. Um, the part that I'm currently working on before I'm ready to do Urushi is this joint right here. It was perfectly flush up until I did the final sanding polishing, and of course, that changed a little bit. Oh, it's hard to see. That turned out okay <clears throat> on this side. The other side, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a little gap here, then a little bit there. But I'm just going to do a little bit more this evening, maybe, just to try to get it down. But, boy, I'm getting busy. Time is flying. Just have to move on. It's As summertime comes, as summertime comes, um, a lot of work in the garden is coming up. So it's hard juggling bachido and uh, home duties as well. But white paper problems. Okay. <clears throat> Final, the coolest most interesting part of this, I would say, is this. <clears throat> what is this? Um, I'm going to be making the uh, wooden nail, which will have a hole in it, and then with a screw, um, connect 
into here. Oh, I also forgot to say, the inside of the Nakago has a um, metal bar. Oh, I'll, I'll mention that in a moment. Too late. So yeah, wooden nail. We'll go here. Apparently that is great for uh, volume and tone and such over a uh, chord. Um, even the folks, the fine folks at Tokyo Agaki uh, have noted when Reagan brought this up to them, they thought, oh yeah, a wooden nail would actually help with the sound or make it even better, apparently. <clears throat> so we're gonna find that out. Uh, the piece of snake wood, boom, like this. It should look nice, hopefully. Um, yes, so that's connected here, and then through the nakago is a metal bar, which I, oh, well, I'll show. It's hard, I will say, drilling a straight hole um, all the way through, and I got a little off, kind of came through here. Oopsie, <clears throat> but that'll be hidden. Oh, what's more, it bulged out a little, which I didn't notice until today, causing, where are we? It bent up here. Oops. Again, who cares? Who knows? Um, yeah. Oh, so that's this. And man, I didn't realize how much heavier that makes the Nakago. Um. I intentionally used a really light maple wood uh, for the Nakago, hoping that that would kind of balance everything out weight-wise, but I'll demonstrate. Okay. <clears throat> um, to demonstrate, here is the, reg the regular shamisen, Akatsuki, and balanced right, you can hold it uh, right here. Maybe three fingers. You can hold it here behind the uh, saruo, and it's balanced. However, we do that with this, and whoa, whoa. You have to hold it like here at the hatamune for it to be you know, anywhere close to being balanced. Note, the itamaki aren't in quite yet, so that might change some things. I was a little bummed out after all this time and work and then just getting the balance so off, but you know, realizing it might not actually make a huge difference while playing. Um, my, my previous homemade chemist in the Bloodwood one um, is exactly the same, very not only unbalanced, but the size of the dough is quite off or different. Um, and, you know, I played fine with it and didn't notice it. So, some, something to be said for that. <clears throat> okay. Um, why doesn't YouTube refresh automatically? It's a good question. Um, ben Allen. By the way, the thanks for the tips for the thumb placement of the bocce completely solved my problem. Everything is much easier now that I'm doing it right. Excellent! Glad to hear that. Um, Kyle, you got so skinny. I haven't got so skinny. I've always been skinny. Um, but yes, I didn't have breakfast yet. What drinks is it serving? It wouldn't be great if I could put an espresso machine in the back. <clears throat> okay. So enough of that. Um, let's move on to today's subject. Uh, I think uh, Johnny Pete, I think he asked, I think it was him who said, uh, asked for, requested, you know, playing by ear with Shamisen. How do we do it? So this is a great question. I believe, this is my feeling on tablature, that it's great as a way to refresh, you know, the melody. If you forget the melody, then refer to it to find it again. But if it's concentrated too much, oh, Carl, since you said it had a metal bar and all, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Um, but if you rely, if you use tablature too much, it can become a crutch where uh, people will depend on it and think, you know, they can't learn it until they have the notation to look at. But this is not true. 
Um, it just takes a little training and trust of our ears. Um, quick story, my student, a private student, uh, and I wouldn't talk so much about her if I knew she watched these live lessons, but she brings good examples. <clears throat> when we're learning new songs, um, I'm not using notation, but I'm just saying the position numbers, like three, four, six, nine, six, three, four, or whatnot. And week after week, she would still say these numbers. So I'd switch to just humming it because it's, it's nice to connect our voice with the pitch of the shamisen. But you know, only thinking about numbers and such and such kind of, you know, the direction we want to go more natural and you know, not thinking so much as I often do. Hey, Tsugaru Ronin. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, yeah, so, um, you know, that was that. So with my students, I said, let's try to kind of get away from the numbers. When, when we know we can play it, let's stop thinking about the numbers and switch to melody. Um, and, you know, and that works some of the time. But where it really clicked in, where that she, I knew she could play by ear, is when she wanted to learn a song that she already knew. I think it was like Silent Night or something. A song that she'd you know, heard for decades. And then, oh, hey, Jose. Excellent. Um, and then, it, like, that song she learned within an hour because even before I said what the number was, she was already moving in that area. So that brings us to our first step of how of um, playing by ear with Shamisen. Uh, f knowing the melody, feeling the melody. The most important thing to confidently play by ear, or at least get the building blocks, is to have the melody already in your head so you can hum it um, without looking at anything. And let's take, for example, Amazing Grace. <clears throat> we know it goes, I think, da, da, ah. Let's just start. Nino Ito. Na amazing grace, how sweet the sound that da 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 da. Um, or happy birthday, happy happy birthday to you. That's a little difficult, um, but you get the idea. If you know that melody or Silent Night, Silent Silent Night, feeling how the the pitch goes up and down. And when you know the song and you have it really in your head, you can intuitively know when the melody goes up and when it goes down. Um, I just had a thought. Um, if you want to really get the a solid foundation of playing by ear, my family has been um, has books and has been um, really studying this subject for well over a decade, 17 years now. Um, go to toneway.com, T-O-N-T-O-N-E-W-A-Y.com. And the instruments they're teaching is ukulele, guitar, banjo, fiddle, and all that stuff. But the same principles apply. And there's a free online uh, course for playing by ear. So definitely check that out, because it can all apply. <clears throat> uh, anywho, OK, so continuing on. Um, uh, pitch. Pitch goes up and down, and the song is formed of the pitch going up and down. And to note, with our shamisen, as we play up and up and up, the pitch is going higher. Up and up and up. We will go down, pitch is going down, and then anything we play here is going to be lower than here. Why do I say that? Because when my student, when we're learning a new song, and she's hunting for the next note, and it's clearly higher, like da da, she'll be fishing down here. It's like no, 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 that's way too low. We need to go higher. Uh, so let's, with that in mind, <clears throat> let's play "Amazing Grace." Um, oh, Johnny. Oops. We well, can watch this later, or watch this now. Watch this chapter later. Okay. Hum along, Johnny. Hum along. <clears throat> um, so, 
Da. That'll be our first note of Amazing Grace. Ninoito, open. Da. So what's next? Ame, ame. The pitch rises. Ame. So that can, if the pitch rises, that mean that means we have to anything we play. If we know the pitch rises, anything we play is going to be above here. And onward and onward. It's not going to be lower. Um, <clears throat> so if we know uh, uh, me, uh, and let's just press until we reach uh, me, somewhere around there. Position four on Ninoito or Sanoito open. Um, so there we go. Now we know the next part is amazing, amazing. Um, now I know we don't always trust our our pitch and all. That's totally fine, but do our best. Um, even if you don't. Even if you're not sure you're on, just uh, believe in yourself and just try to think of that pitch until you get there. And eventually, as your finger gets closer to the note, you'll hear how it connects and uh, you'll hear that it is on um, or close to on. And then it's just a matter of building trust with yourself. <clears throat> so, um, A, Z. So, Z. Amazing is higher, and you can use your hand to help um, get the feeling of higher and lower the pitch going up and down. Amazing, as amazing, <clears throat> so higher than this. Amazing, amazing. That's another thing you can do. Hold that note. Uh, may just sing it out. Uh, may just as much as you can. Just hold on to that note and slide your finger until they match. It's more or less. Amen. That's hard to do. Amazing. 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 <clears throat> Amazing grace. So that was the. We've already played those. Amazing grace just hops back and forth. May amazing grace. Da 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 da. Now the next note is amazing grace. How so that's in between the two. May amazing grace. How. That's lower than grace, grace how, but amazing, it's, it's lower than the high and higher than the low. So it's in between and there. <clears throat> so amazing grace how, more or less. Amazing grace, how? And this is not even thinking about numbers at all. Um, <clears throat> oh, Grigorly, question. I wonder if it would be better to learn Western notation for shamisen or just play by ear. Um, 
win at all, I would say plain buyer is the best approach. Personally, I can't even read Western notation. Um, if I do, I use the tablature, but excuse me. Um, yeah, plain buyer, if at all possible, is good. I know even mus most musicians, I mean professional, professional mus musicians, uh, they will play by ear, like I heard like Paul Schaefer <clears throat> of the CBS uh, Orchestra with David Letterman, which um, got distracted by a good show that went away. Anywho, Dave, uh, Paul Schaefer of the orchestra is an amazing musician, and he said too, whenever, generally he'll play by ear, even though he can read Western notation and compose and everything. Uh, so if he usually plays by ear, then I say the rest of us should too. <clears throat> See you, Johnny Peets. Glad you could make it for a little bit. Uh, check it out later. Yeah, sweet. <clears throat> okay. Um, Ikiyasu, good to see you. Um, I'm giving a little demonstration of uh, playing by ear. Oh, fast tuning session, yeah. This is good for playing by ear too. Um, Ichi no Ito, so we're in the key of C. Uh, Niagari. Oops. We were. Oh, yeah, we are. <clears throat> and I'll be switching um, to a song you guys don't know uh, yet, I think. Um, but first, we're going to start with a song that we do know so we can see how this principle applies. So, all this time we haven't been thinking of uh, notes or anything, <clears throat> or like specific numbers. We're just thinking, we're starting here. Ame, ame. And then, yeah. The grace, how is in between. So we go down. How. And then trust. And if you want to verify, so we, we've, you're pretty sure you're on these notes, but if you want to verify that it's correct, just play those past four or five notes and hear how it sounds. That sounds like the melody, so you know it probably is. Um, continuing on. Sing grace, how sweet, how... And I think having the hand up really helps lock in the feeling of the flow of the melody, or pitch and such. Sing grace, how sweet, how sweet, so it must be lower. <clears throat> how... Sweet, how sweet, sing grace, how sweet. Next, the amazing grace, how sweet, the, well that's definitely lower. Sweet, how sweet, sweet, the, so it's lower than here. So let's put our finger on four. That's the same. <clears throat> then we'll just slide our finger down until we hear the note that sounds right, that we can remember. Sweet the... There. So we found that. Um, oh, Ikiyasu. Thank you. This is the new Akatsuki Shamisen. <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen the uh, stuff for it, the videos, right? Uh, yes, using two mics. Um, let's take a break here, folks. Well, I'll let that register. Um, two mics all connected to the Zoom H5. That for the Shamisen and then this for the uh, voice. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm really glad I switched. Um, okay, question, uh, Jose. I want to do a cover of a song with two shamisen, one of them doing bass. Any tips on doing bass? <clears throat> um, any tips on doing bass with shamisen? Um, I know. How about you make a video of that, of what you're meaning, and put it to the Bachido Facebook page? 
and I'll look at it later, um, just so we don't switch gears too much. Um, I mean, because that, I mean that's a great subject that would be good to dedicate a longer uh, lesson about that. So make a video, please. Um, post your question and what you want to do. I'll see what can, we can do. Um, okay, so the sound. Okay, let me know if, yeah, well, I'm sure that makes sense. That, from there, we can kind of figure out the rest, I think. <clears throat> that, uh, da, 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 the sound, the, and then we know the pitch goes down, so, sound, and then the rest, we'll just speed it up. Um, that saved, <clears throat> well, that sounds like, uh, May, like the beginning, that saved. So it's probably those first two notes that we just played. The first two notes that we played. That saved, right. Uh, May, that saved. A wretch like amazing grace, how? <clears throat> which may, may, which what might make it connect a bit better is um, not thinking of the words even, just the melody. Da 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 So that's the same. So we can just play those same notes. But then we have the melody in our head, so we should know the melody is going up. That's higher. So that means it. Oh, see you, Ikiyasu. Glad you could make it for a bit. Come by anytime. Um, Da, this was our last note we played. Da, da. So we know it has to be going up. Da. Da, da. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm going quick. I'm sure I'm going quick, but um, work on this on your own time and... It doesn't have to be Amazing Grace. Use any song that you know really well, and hopefully that's a bit simple um, to kind of lock in the, the um, basics and principles, fundamentals of a plane by ear. And then when, when you really have a good foundation of that, then you can make the songs more complex. And it'll help you, eventually, you'll be able to hear a song maybe once or twice and then play along play along with it like right off the bat. Um, so let's continue. Da, da. Which is six. Da, <clears throat> da, da, uh, da, da, da. So that's in between that note. Da, da, da. So it must be in between these two places, two and six. So let's just go down. Da, da. There we go, that's our next note. Da, da. Um. Da, 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 da. I once was. And that's just those, those two notes back and forth, because we're not hearing anything other than those two notes. Da, 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 da. Not da, 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 da. Of course, you can add that in, but. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Next, da, da, da. So that's just lower. Dun. 
哒哒哒哒哒哒，哒哒。How we know a me that tone da, so it's probably gonna be a da. It's gonna be a little bit higher before we fish. Da 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 da. At this point, we should automatically know it's gonna be higher, and just like. <clears throat> If it's just like shooting darts or something, the more you get it, you'll oh muscle memory or you'll you'll kind of have a sense. You don't have to slide every time. You'll kind of have a memory of where that note sounded. Da 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 da. These are the, just the notes that we've played. Da 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 da. The end. Da da da. Oh, just like the beginning. Da 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 da. da. <clears throat> and that is the principles of playing by ear, more or less. Um, again, that was fast. Um, those who already play by ear, maybe it's boring. Deal with it. This is free. Um, and for those who are just beginning, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, write me here or on watch it, watch it on Facebook and such. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, getting good sense of playing by ear will be tremendously helpful as you learn chiming sound. <clears throat> Let's apply that to a song that none of us know, and hopefully, maybe people know. Um, <laughs> And I'll try to hold off from numbers as much as possible, but we'll see what happens. Um, Sugaru piece? <clears throat> yeah. Sounds good. Nah. Um. Okay, 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 got it. Here we go. <clears throat> so we're going to use a song called Kuro Rabushi, which is a cool, um, very old uh, Mino song. Oh. learn that just by playing by ear. So our, we know our first note will be open the note toe. Da, <coughs> excuse me. Da, 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 sa, ke, wa, sa, no, just, I'll sing an octifier. Sa, there you go. Sa, sa, ke, sa, ke. Um, sa, so that's just a little bit higher. So let's move up. Thanks, Carl. <clears throat> sa, here we go. It sounds right. Sa, ke. So that's higher, much higher. Sa ke ke, and they match. That's open. <clears throat> Sa ke Sa ke wa Sa ke wa no. Those are the two notes we just played.
<clears throat> um, next. Sakewano me no me no me um one or we know that's here. Me sakewano me me no me no. That's lower. So anything below here on this string. Try here. Me no. That sounds too low. Me no. So we raise up. Me no. Me me no. <clears throat> Getting close. There we go. Me no. Me no. So for this purpose. Uh, let me not say what these numbers are, so we can really try to hunt and trust our ear. I'll make the tab and, of course, put it there, but as much as you can. Goodbye, ear. Me-no, me-no, me is the next. Me-no, me, me-no. So anything above there? No me, me, me. And that's also, just open the note up. Yay, Grigor Lee. Thank you for joining along. <clears throat> me, no, me. So, uh, oh. Jen, uh, I think that the shamisen as a melodic instrument is very beginner-friendly when it comes to writing tabulations, especially if you orientate, orientate by the vocals. You can play along syllable by syllable, yeah. That makes such uh, shamisen such an easy beginning, um, an easy instrument to begin on, for sure. I try to tell my parents that, but they still think it's hard. Mainly the bachi, because they have arthritis, and it's a bit of a difficulty. Uh, okay, so. So, so, no, me, no, oops, no, me. There we go. <clears throat> Next is, so, last note we played was, no. So that's higher than here. No, no. No. No, mo. No, mo, na. No, mo, na. So, no, mo. A little bit higher. Just a little, so. Let's try that. We got it. No mo na dun da da dun. Um, na ba. <clears throat> no mo na. This is where the Japanese mel uh, songs get a little confusing because the vocal melody is. No mo na ra ba. More or less, depending on how ornamental you get. But the shamisen will just do. No mo na ra ba. I think. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Ra ba. I mean, uh, I don't think the shamisen. Goes exactly with no more, but you could if you want. So, I'll switch. No Each 
치는거죠너무나라바겐다 Next. He, he, no more. He, 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 he. Here in there. Hey, Mike, we're doing、um, playing by ear. Chi no cheese that goes down really quickly. Chi no. And as, as it turns out, five on Nino Ito is the same pitch. Chi no, chi no. Come on in, Mike, and stay a while. Chi no. So we're just hopping between those two. Chi no, go. Oh, and as it turns out, chi no, go. No, ko, no, ya, do, 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 do. Ko, no, ya, da, da, da. Ko, no, ya, ri, yo. All right. So that is. Right in. How do we do about that? How did you feel about that? Can we play and repeat the parts a few times? Sure. Okay. Let's repeat, the, let's repeat and play the parts a few times. <clears throat> After we watch this, I encourage you to find a recording of、uh, Kuro Rabushi and just listen to it a lot until you can hum the melody、um, without listening to the music. And then try doing it, doing it, doing it again with your shamisen. Should find a big difference. So,、um, beginning. <coughs> sa, sa, open the noito. Sa, sa, ke, sa, ke, sa. Lower, lower octave. Sa. 
Thank you. Sadly, I cannot stay. Glad you could make it for a little bit. Kuroda Bushi is a great song. True story. <clears throat> true, double true, true. Um, I recommend checking out Aki, Tenten Canada's version too. Yeah, that's the version you should check out. Uh, type in Kuroda Bushi. Uh, spelling Kuroda Bushi. Um, and then Tenten. Google that into uh, YouTube and you'll find a recording from her. That's a great one to listen to, to get a sense of the melody and everything. Um, so where were we? Glad you can make it, Mike. Bye 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 bye. Write you more later. No Munaraba. No Munaraba. Nino is the same as here. Chi no chi no chi no he he no mo toi he no mo toi chi Watching this, whether whether you are with your shamisen or not, I hope you're humming along um, to connect the melody into your noggin. <clears throat> so let's do it again. 
Oh, before we do again, I have a quick fun fact. So we're starting this song on Ninoito Open. But the great thing about playing by ear is that you're playing the melody based off of the previous note. So if we know that this note is da, the next note has to be da, that's spacing apart. Da, oh, no, this. Sa, ke, sa, ke. So we don't have to, unlike if we're reading Western notation where I think, I'm sure, they select the key, or it's written the key that you play in, so you will have the same starting note every time. Playing by ear, as long as you have a feeling for the spacing in between the notes, you can move the starting key, the starting note or anything, wherever you want. So for example, let's, instead of Nino Ito open, let's say for Sano Ito. This will be our starting note. Sa, sa. It'll still have sa ke wa no sa 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 ke ke sa ke. <coughs> and I think that's position nine. So let's try it out. This is where the confidence, a bit of confidence is needed, but to um, cement, cement it, just repeat the notes that we've just played to ensure that it sounds like the right melody. Sa, sa, nine. Ke, <coughs> there we go. Sa, ke, wa, no. Uh, let's say three sanoito. Sa sa ke sa ke ke maybe six. Sa ke. No, that doesn't sound right. <clears throat> it's a bit higher. Sa. Sa. Ke. Sa. Ke. Seven. It's a little. Confusing, of course. So three sharp seven, seven sharp three. Woo, that's a little confusing, isn't it? <clears throat> a great thing about this, when you're, um, of course, whenever possible, we want to start on an open note or have it somehow connected with an open note. Um, that makes it easier for everybody. Um, but when you don't have to rely on that, when you know that if you push here, the next notes are based off of this. Um, and you can believe it and trust it. It also brings greater freedom. So let's say you're at a party um, and you're hearing a song playing in the background. Maybe your shamisen isn't tuned to the same key, but just <clears throat> fish around. Um, until you hear a tone, until you hear a tone that matches what you just heard there, and then you can base the rest of the song on that tone. For example, I was just at the uh, AT and T Park, San Francisco, not playing Star Spangled Banner on my shamisen, but playing with the amazing uh, Awakoren uh, Awodori Dance Group at the uh, ba baseball stadium there, and of course they have they had blasting. I think it was Michael Jackson or something in the background and my shamisen wasn't tuned in the same key but I fished around uh, until I heard the same note um, and then I could just play along. What song was it? Uh, hmm. Oh well I forgot.
forgot which sign it was. But uh, well, let's see. Okay, let me. <clears throat> hopefully, YouTube won't. Uh, let me just pull up a random song. The YouTube. I didn't need to do that. I'm wasting time. You can trust me on that. Uh, Carl, uh, one thing I should do more often is play the same song, but play an, an octave up, starting on 10. That way the notes will be the same. Then you have the option of moving down too. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> So that's an easy way to get used to, actually, comfortable. Hey, that's great. That's a perfect way to get comfortable with playing a song at a different location on the neck. Um, or if you use position 10, because that's an octave up, all those notes, all the positions will be the same as down here. So put a, um, a position mark, if you want, on position 10. And then you can think of 10 as 0. Same melody. Just play the same things. But of course, you'll have to hold down these. This will be like the nut here, the Kamigoma, the open. Um, yeah, definitely, <coughs> Carl says. Then you can move up to what Kyle talked about because it's harder to hear when you are used to the sound of the usual C tuning. And that's a good point. Um, even just, yeah, we were doing da, 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 da. Going in around between keys playing is, takes a lot of focus to remember where your starting place is and so on and so forth. Um, any final questions before we go? <clears throat> tips on doing hachiki on higher notes? Too late, Carl. Uh, Jose asked first. Um, <clears throat> oh, yes, I have a tip. <clears throat> so, like, over here. <clears throat> An easy way, I would say, to get a nice, clean hachiki is to get the fingers nice and tight, curled in. And simply pull out not not so much the flat the flatty fatty part of the pinky but in and if you have a bit more of a fingernail you can get an even sharper sound though it depends what kind of tone you're wanting to go for um, if you're wanting a really sharp clear if you're wanting a really sharp, clear tone, you can curl in more and get that fingernail under. Or if you want a softer, uh, more well-rounded tone, you can bring more of the flesh into it. Any tricks for doing that? light don't dig in <clears throat> don't you don't need to touch the saw as you're doing hajiki and don't feel you really have to get underneath that string or on the side um, almost in the motion of bringing down this motion your finger is in transit gripping the string or hooking on the string 
and pulling it out. It's not, uh, the motion is not first touching the string and then pulling it off. It's just making this finger motion and oh, the string happens to be there. That's, so it's something you don't have to consciously think about, touching, pulling. That makes it more relaxed, more faster, more fluid. Alrighty, folkies. Um, whoop. Uh, tips on figuring out chords. Okay, I'll quickly uh, bring. I'll talk about that for a moment because this connects with the playing by ear. <clears throat> um, Carl, don't forget the slow playback speed when rewatching this part. Oh, right, there's a slow playback speed. Yeah, cool. Um, when watch rewatching this part. Ben Allen, I actually managed to figure to find a few good videos resources on Bachido about chords and a couple days ago. Oh, cool! You got it, Jose. Um, I wonder what that was. Oh, right, right about about figuring out chords. Um, I did uh, talk about, it, but for the sake of video, I'll just mention a few quick things. But yeah, check out the. I think I did a blog post about finding chords. Um, so for tune to nia, niagari, that's that's an open tuning. You can play that and it sounds just fine. Um, using playing by ear to make a chord, let's just do the same thing of moving like our finger on the sanoito until we hear uh, the major chord. This is a very simple approach to it, but yeah. And just keep sliding up. It's a chord, but we're going for major, so we just slide up a bit more. There we go. And we can, um, our chord is based off of this as the root. It gets trickier when we change, which we can do later. Um, oh gosh. Uh, let's talk about that. Let's have that a topic for another time. But it's a good thing to talk about. Um, okay, so next week, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I'm going to start, what should I do? Maybe we'll talk about this. I would like to start teaching songs, um, perhaps songs we already know, but focusing on s small sections. Maybe if we don't even know them, it's fine. Uh, small sections where we can add more flavor and make the most of the these great songs and the most of the shamisen. Uh, so that will be Tuesday, probably Thursday too. Um, Carl, uh, I get sad when trying to play chords since you're forced to do inversions even though you don't want to. You mean like... I'll say one chord I like to do. Uh, I can't help myself, but um, in Ringo Bushi. That's a seven sanoito, five ninoito, four. Uh, yeah, and four ninoito, 
6 cm. Okay. Oh, um... Still the best Minyo song, in my humble opinion, in my opinion, Ringo Bushi. Yasaburo Bushi is, I think, the, it's my favorite. <laughs> song about domestic violence. <clears throat> um, okay, on that note, thank you all for joining. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, post stuff on the Facebook thing. Oh, Jose, especially you, uh, your question about whatever your, oh, bass, about um, doing the bass part thing. Uh, post a video so that we can check that out. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining. <clears throat> I'll, let's announce the, um, I, I would like next, the Shamisen Live contest to be, um, maybe focused on these flavoring up the Mino pieces, or any pieces. Uh, so we'll, we'll announce the next challenge uh, next week. Um, yeah, thanks Carl, thanks uh, Jose, thanks Ben, thanks Joel, thanks uh, everyone here. Um, thank you all for chatting. I enjoy the banter. We all do too. Uh, okay, have a good one. How do we turn this off?